did game developers start fucking deciding without confirming anything? Plasma that beam. People didn't All right, want let's see what we got. Player anymore? Uh, what nobody did? fucking decided it. What they fucking what they sat there and tried to fucking spin on people was oh people don't play fucking single player stories anymore because yeah. that way if you convince people that nobody plays single player stories guess what a lot of people are gonna flock to fucking multiplayer and that means that you can spend a lot more money on your bullshit microtransactions pretty EA much can fuck off from saying that then board yeah. over like decade. sitting like it, it was even more fucking hilarious and embarrassing for them when they were like oh nobody wants to play fucking single player games anymore and then god of war came out and fucking kicked the shit out of them and then spider-man mm -hmm. and holy shit and spider-man yeah like oh, and a bunch is... of fuck and a bunch of just really yeah just a bunch of really fucking good single player games that people love the hell out of because they were actually made with fucking care by developers that gave a shit yeah. Right. He's like, oh yeah, nobody wants, to, nobody wants to play fucking single player games. Oh yes, laughs and money. Apparently, mm -hmm. Devil May Cry Five and Kingdom Hearts Three have earned pretty well too. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. And what happened to all the multiplayer games? Curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> One more. Shit. Uh, going on when developers get so ambitious that they think that they're literally gods and then the world has to kick the shit out of them to put them back in their place peter molino yep knock them down knock it's them back just down it, it's pegs. it 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 motherfucker how many goddamn times is this gonna happen right it's it's yeah, it's hilarious you see what developers should do you see, what developers should do to safeguard themselves from fucking up is just don't make shit up. Don't try and force people to see things your way. Make an effort to see things their way. Because I'm pretty sure if EA went out of its way to actually talk to half of its user base, which, you know, if you've been paying any attention to Anthem, is basically non-existent, and say, hey, I mean, what do you want in a good game? We're still going to... Can, it's like, we're still going to have all of our corporate bullshit in there. You're never going to escape that. Sorry, not sorry. But what do you actually want? What can is like what can take the salt out of the wound for you? You know, it, it it's hilarious because fucking... That's pretty much exactly what happened with fucking Sega and Sonic Team. And then the fans came up with Sonic Mania and everybody fucking pretty much unanimously loved that game. Didn't it sell better than Sonic It's like, Forces? wow, when fucking when you fucking design a game with the fans in mind, the fans fucking like it. Holy shit, what a concept. I know, and then, right? And then Sonic Forces happened. <laughs> and then Sonic Forces happened. Uh... It's like, huh, we can do we can do you one better. <laughs> oh, can Sonic you? Star Wars. Sonic the Force like... Awakens. No! So, what Ooh. What did they think they were doing? It's just like, okay, oh, we got, it's like, we got yeah, one home sure. run by listening to the fans, and now we know better than the fans because we listened, and now we can create the perfect song. Why are you, where are you going? Where are you going? Come back. Like, like no. it just showed me that Sonic, <laughs> it, it just showed me that Sonic Forces was not that great a game when they're like, oh yeah, we're going to have to fucking patch in Super Sonic because we forgot to add him in the base game. Oh, you forgot! To add <laughs> Super Sonic into Super your Sonic. goddamn Sonic game. Are you that's, fucking high? Are you retarded? <laughs> Are you mentally deficient? <laughs> that is fucking heresy. How did you fuck that up? Oof. <laughs> Boy, Look, logic's I, having I'm a just ball sad. Right there. How did you make a? How, how did you fuck that up? You know, like fuck. You couldn't even be bothered to make a level that extends past thirty fucking seconds. How did you fuck this up? It's not like you had a bunch else on your fucking mind. I've seen the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I'm kind of sad because they don't have Big the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Big the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> let, 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 me put it, let me put it to you this way. Big's fucking side storyline in Sonic Adventure 1 was fucking longer than all of Sonic Forces. Mm. Wasn't it just... I mean, if you... if It's you fishing for Froggy, and that's it. Yeah. 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 Froggy. 
I mean, I actually enjoy the Emerald Collection. Buggy, part, where so. are you? Let's go have sex. Uh, oh, uh, shut the uh, fuck up. Uh, that was you, me. Sorry. Yeah, EG, can we uh can we do a little rewind on that temporal do over? We can you can right? you dial down the fucking autism? Holy shit. <laughs> Good God. I would say I find that offensive, but holy shit it works. Man. I don't give a shit if you find it offensive <laughs> at that point. That's fucking what it is. It was, that was a bowl of fucking autism flakes that he just sat there and shoved in everybody's face. I don't even have it. Jesus That's not Christ. the point. <laughs> Motherfucker! EG, the point is, I do, and that's why I made the comment. <laughs> but don't worry about oh. it. Hey, 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 hey. What? Froggy. Oh, Froggy. God. <gasps> I should you not, I did do a drinking game every time, every time he says, Froggy, where are you in Sonic Heroes? Oh. No. Yeah, he kept repeating that so many fucking times. No thanks. How, How are you still alive? <laughs> Oh. Your li is like your liver and everything else around it should be turning the consistency of coal right now. No, no, you want to hear an even worse drinking thing that Aeon told me about? Oh boy, what? They played uh, Kingdom oh. Hearts um, Final Chapter Prologue, and they had to take a shot every time the words "heart" and "darkness" were said. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and so they, they survived. Oh yeah, I remember you told oh, me. Oh wow! So you just basically you just you. You just got a you just got a gallon of alcohol and you just started drinking and didn't well, stop till the game was over. You can also talk about how every single sequel just adds another nonsensical word to be an enemy. I mean, oh. light, heart, heartless, darkness, heartless, nobody, nobody, unversed. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, let's face it, EG, they're not wrong. Keyblade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that Kingdom Hearts has that reputation of repeating the same words over and over again. Especially it's worse than like they knew Yasha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't give me that. <laughs> oh, when I was dead for two seconds in Kingdom Hearts 2, heart, heart, darkness, heart, heart, darkness, heart. Oh, yo. Shut the fuck up. Oh, hi, Foy Gooks. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. quoting uh, Jello Apocalypse. <laughs> oh, well, that no doesn't shit. change the fact that I said shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ah, oh, every time I shoot one of these guys, they fall and teabag them. Well, yeah, it's the that's the idea. No, I mean that's the why I'm here. Oh, damn it! Oh, oh, I see how it is. If you kill them, you teabag them. That's what you do in a Halo spiritual successor. I know. I'm trying to teabag them because that's the name of the game. You have to teabag them to get a point. Oh, that's fucking brilliant. That's yeah. fucking that <laughs> fucking bravo. That's fucking. <laughs> yeah. I applaud the fuck out of the split gate and the split gate devs for that. That's fucking brilliant. Are you okay? That's how I know that dude. these fucking people actually paid attention to their fucking demographic. They're like, oh, dude, what if we made a fucking game mode where you have to teabag people to win? Fucking right on, man. Let's do it. <laughs> fucking on the topic. Okay. On the topic of first-person shooters getting it right, who else is excited for Doom Eternal, eventually? Oh, oh, I want to punch some skulls of demons. I want to watch Doom Eternal, time. and little do people realize they're actually referring to the wait before it comes out. Oh! <laughs> I want well, you know, like, while we're on the Doom subject of forever. Doom, while we're on the subject of Doom, somebody actually made a custom Doom game where they have, like, a wide variety of weapons and a variety of, like, stupid shit you can do with, um, like, different zombies and shit. Like, one of which custom you can grab... What? Custom Doom games. Yeah. Oh, you cut Brutal out. Doom, yeah. God fucking damn it, Discord! <laughs> yeah, this you have one in. job, Discord! One job! Have, Stop see, cutting many... me off! See how many different streams you gotta work for. There's like how many different stream videos you gotta work through. One, two, three, four. <laughs> ah, One fuck stream. Yeah. Ah ah ah. Two stream. Ah ah ah. Three. Yeah, <laughs> we're done. <laughs> oh hell no. I, oh my lord. Three. Like, three. Oh hell no. I'm out of here. Like I wanna see. <laughs> I wanna see. Like I want to be able to see a fucking Kagadine and slowly fall apart as I continuously punch it. I need this game in my life. Cassidy and Butcher. Butcheria. 
Oh god, who remembers who remembers Cassidy and Butch from Pokemon? The other Team Rocket duo. Ugh, don't get me started. With Vaguely. Me. Uh, every what? time they keep re every time they say their names, they always Wait, there's really no point they, in going there. They always I've they always butchered time. Butch's name. On per that's the idea. <laughs> Hilarious. That's, that's supposed to be the uh, the run running gag, but it's stupid. Yeah. It's a stupid running God gag. Mm-hmm. Also, why don't more video games just do like more destructible stuff? Like destructible environments, destructible enemies, just destructible. Oh, you mean enemies. rampage? Destructible rampage. environments are uh, I, I will say that destructible environments probably are a pain in the ass to fucking deal with. Yeah, I understand that. Like, Burn up, that yeah. and fucking that and surprisingly, they're pretty hard to do right. Because fucking like yeah. like a good example of a game that has really good destructible environments is fucking Metal Gear Rising, because there's just so much shit in the world that you can do that you can just fucking cut to fucking pieces if you want. But at the same time. Some of the shit you actually Fuck. need to fucking progress, so obviously you can't cut every single fucking thing down, and you gotta mm. find that fucking balance, because, like, you don't want to sit there and go, like, oh, I'm gonna cut up this bridge for fun, ha ha ha, oh, wait, shit, how do I get across now? So, like... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'll be funny, but it it also be really fucking frustrating, because if you get into a fight on the bridge, and then you accidentally fucking cut the bridge up, and now you're in the same fucking boat. So, mm. probably yeah. a fucking huge pain in the ass to deal with that reminds me of the god fucking damn scene. It. that Ugh. reminds me of the fucking scene of the at the end where you use one of fucking excelsius's sword things to cut it up in that same mini game only this time the sword is bigger than the house you live in Oof. yeah no fucking <laughs> just the, the, the thing about Metal Gear Rising, I think, that just made it work so well is the fact that they just embraced how fucking over-the-top and goofy it was. Cause, yeah. Oh, boy. That, 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 that game was a fucking experience. I could never get down the shield button, though. I, I, I had to stop right when they get to that bomb boss rush, and you can't. You have to perfectly use the shield. Uh, oh, my dude. It, I, that's, that, that was one of the things, like, yeah, it was a good game, but it was also dangerously short, and it was full of padding. Yeah, like, it was. It was. It was like a six-hour game tops. I mean, granted, there was some replay value because there was shit you could do, like oh, go and cut off all the le left arms of the, these special officers, and you can get a fucking you can get a special t kind of sword. Or shit like, oh, go and do all these VR missions and you can get, like, a fucking wig that gives you infinite energy or shit like that, so. Yeah. Wow. There was we a lot of the... replay value to it, but, uh, fucking, it was also just dangerously short. From the makers of the infinite ammo headband comes the infinite energy wig. <laughs> the, 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 the fucking, the... The, the energy wig was a lot of fun just because it was like, oh, fucking, you have this special mode that you can go into, which is basically like your super mode. But it costs a fuck ton of energy to get into. But with this headband, you can just sit there and with this fucking wig, you can just sit there and fucking laugh it off and just be in that mode permanently and just fucking decimate the game. It was hilarious. Okay, so let's see. I believe there's... There was also unlockable costumes and shit like that. That was pretty fun. Okay, I think I took care of. Ow! <gasps> God damn it! <laughs> Owie! Yeah, Owie indeed. <laughs> Owie! Okay, so. One nipple. Ah ah ah. That does not sound like the count. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 